In this video, we will show you what to do if your Galaxy S20 powered off by itself and won't turn back on. There are times when the firmware of your device crashes and would stop responding. When that happens, it will be stuck on a black screen and won't turn back on. We often think it's a hardware issue but in reality, it's just a minor firmware problem, which you can fix easily. With that being said, here's what you should do about it. First solution, perform the forced restart. When it comes to fixing devices that won't turn on, the first thing you have to do is the forced restart. It's a simulated battery pull procedure that forces your phone to boot up. Here's how it's done. Press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds. This will trigger your device to boot up. When the logo shows, release both keys and allow your phone to boot up successfully. As long as you can make the logo show on the screen, it's a sign that your phone is still capable of turning on. More often than not, this procedure is enough to fix your device. However, if this doesn't fix the problem, move on to the next solution. Second solution, charge your phone and do the forced restart. If the first solution failed, then it's possible that the battery is completely drained. While it's not really a problem, there are times when the firmware crashes just before it runs out of juice. As a result, you're dealing with a couple of issues that both leave your phone unresponsive. Here's what you have to do about it. Plug the power adapter to a working wall outlet. Using the original cable, connect the Note 20 to its charger. Regardless of whether the charging sign is showing or not, leave it connected to the charger for at least 10 minutes. After that, Try pressing and holding the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds while it's still connected to the charger. If the logo shows, then release both keys, if not, continue holding them a little longer. When it comes to fixing an Android smartphone that won't turn on is concerned, these two procedures are enough to fix it. But if it doesn't help, then it's time you have the phone checked. These procedures are also enough to tell you if the problem is serious or not. We hope that this simple tutorial can help you one way or another. Please support us by subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to enable the notifications. Thanks for watching.